Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to take a look at how I write music for corporate projects. This video is really for anyone that's looking to get into writing corporate music. If that's you, I really hope you find this helpful. Before we jump in, let's take a look at three tips that I recommend keeping in mind before starting your next corporate music project. First, the briefing. This is the foundation of every project. Since this is a bespoken cue versus writing music for a production library, we have to be very intentional. Early on, you really need to know all the key decision makers and stakeholders in the process. That way you know exactly whose expectations you need to meet. The briefing should give you the entire direction for the project. Although it can really vary from client to client, if any part of it's ever unclear, make sure you get those questions answered before starting. The briefing should always be your North Star in every single project. Tip number two, communicating. This is easily one of the most important aspects of any project that you're gonna work on. Communicating effectively not only means proactively engaging with the client around the project, but also talking to them in a way that they understand for someone that might not be musical like yourself. Many directors and producers don't have a musical background. While some may know what they're looking for based off experience in filmmaking, it's definitely best to use words that can relate to almost anyone. Try to avoid getting into the heavy theory, talking modes, scales, intricate instrumentation. Relate in terms of feelings and emotions that the director's trying to convey for the project. The last tip before we get into the cue. Number three, executing. With corporate music, there's always a time crunch and consistent high levels of expectations. Not only should your work be broadcast ready when delivered, but you should always try and deliver early as well. There's a really simple reason for this. Revisions. I can't think of one single project that I've worked on that didn't have at least one revision and often it's not even because the music needs to be changed, but because the editors made some adjustments after the completed status. Be ready for these as they should absolutely be factored into your timeline. Now, let's take a look at a recent corporate promo that I wrote the music for. I'll show you how I started the cue and built it to fit the picture. I am A-Vision. Ik ben A-Vision. Tôi là A-Vision. Soy Aviagen. I am A-Vision. Eu sou Aviagen. Hello and welcome. A-Vision is a global poultry breeding company. Being part of our company means now you are literally part of feeding the world. Our headquarters is in the United States, in Huntsville, Alabama. But we have a lot of operations all over the world. Our global reach provides valuable resources that help local farmers succeed. Under our brands, Avaracus, Indian River, Ross, and Rowan Range. These brands symbolize a great history of innovation and performance in our industry. I'm very excited that you have chosen to work for Avigen. Avigen's mission is to be the preferred supplier of broiler breeding stock worldwide. We want every local farmer to have the quality breeding stock they need to supply healthy and sustainable protein to their communities. We see our company as an innovative research and development company with some very, very strong values, such as integrity, caring, and customer focus. Plainly said, it is not just what you do, but how you do it. So having a positive attitude, being a team player, and having respect for each other will be important. But you will soon experience that. Thank you for allowing us to earn your best every day. Make no mistake, you are going to work hard. But who said feeding the world is easy? Thank you again. I'm delighted, and I hope to see you soon out there. Thanks. Me, man, Aviagen. We are Aviagen. We are Aviagen. We are Aviagen. Nós somos Aviagen. We are Aviagen. So this is a project for one of my reoccurring clients. We've definitely done some work in the past, everything from commercials, corporate promos, HR videos, things like that. The briefing for this project was pretty straightforward. They really just wanted it to be fun, engaging, and to showcase the culture of their company. Like this in most of the projects, what I really want to do to start off is get a basic theme in place. I don't even think about syncing to the picture until there's a solid theme in place that's already been approved by the director. 
Now, there are a few considerations that you want to make when selecting your instruments or even ranges for writing. Is there a voiceover? Is it male or female? Are there other sound effects included? Most importantly, we want to create music in a way that stays completely out of the way of all dialogue. The dialogue is always the most important focus for a corporate video, and we are simply supporting it. With that in mind, I typically stay away from a ton of dense mid-range instruments or registers to avoid clashing with speaking voices. Another good practice is to keep everything panned to one side or the other and keep the center channel exclusively available for dialogue. With those in mind, I then take the brief notes and start taking my own notes on what instruments I may use for the cue. Now, there are some usual suspects that you can always lean on if needed. Plucky guitars, mariambas, quarter note kicks. It's all pretty standard and, and honestly often expected. But to stand out and exceed expectations to get repeat work, we need to innovate any and when all possible. Once I have an idea of the instruments that I'm going to approach with, as I mentioned, I then try to write a couple of themes before ever trying to sync it to the picture. Some other considerations with a project like this, you don't really need too many musical changes, but it does have to evolve to avoid being repetitive. You don't want to distract from the dialogue or try to force someone to feel something. Let's take a look at how I started this theme, and then I'll show you how I started to sync it to the picture. With this project, and like many others, I often just replace the metronome with a 4-4 kick. That way it's just a little easier to work with. Sometimes it sticks, oftentimes it'll go. This time it actually stuck around for the main beat. From there, I knew that I either wanted to start with a piano or guitar like I typically do. Often I'll just get some chords down, maybe get a melody together. Sometimes it'll get moved to a different instrument, and sometimes it'll stay. This time I started with the guitar. Now to give it a little bit of movement, I added in some hand percussion. To give it an extra little rhythm, I then added in some damage percussion as well. Going into the next part, I knew I wanted to start to build in the melody, so I brought in a piano, an accident with some glockenspiels, and an atmosphere patch. From there, I knew I needed to lift into the next section to start bringing in some more elements, so I added some hand claps for the lift. and then also added an alchemy synth. I layered another piano with it as well. I knew the next part had to be lifted some more, so I added a sub to the kick as well, and then brought in some violins. As we're building, the synthesizer filter changes, bring in another piano. And we completely change the rhythm of the guitar. To build momentum, then we're gonna bring in a harp and some violins. And then layer it with some spiccatos and pizzicatos. And so to break down this, uh, this transition here, what I did is a pretty common technique. I basically took out a pause, or I took out a bar here, and left a break of most of the instruments. I think really all I have over is some, uh, some reverb tail going across. But it really gives you a nice little breathing room, a little bit of space, and it brings a lot more impact to that next section coming in. This is what's going to be our climax of this cue, so I, I knew I really needed to add some emphasis without adding just a ton of dense instrumentation in there. To build this up, we brought in some stereo electric guitars, along with an electric bass as well. Layered in some additional staccato violins.
And so that was the theme I wrote. I then took that, sent it to the director, got his approval. And then the next task was to start to actually build it around the picture. Now for this, I knew there were some considerations because the beginning has some very specific spots that need some sync. And I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So as we start the picture, we actually start with a montage, very hypercut, and then it goes straight into the title of the company in this kind of sweeping motion of a pan, and then right into the main dialogue. So the approach here is I knew I had to have some kind of transitional moment here, but before that was really the hardest part to sync in this whole project. There was a few techniques I used to start this, and I'll show you this now. So all I did was start with a basic piano chord shape. And then I started to build around that. Added in some more damage percussion to give it some rhythm elements. And this is what really started to glue the sound to the picture. As you can see, I hit those rhythm elements to almost seem like it was hitting every cut, even though it really wasn't. Then to really add some glue to the picture and the sound, I brought in some alchemy scents. Layered with some hand percussion. And some guitar as well. And it makes it feel like it's really hitting those, those cuts just right and giving it some flow. So the next tricky part was to make sure that we hit the transition right. Now you can always flex this by adjusting the tempo, adding a beat, subtracting a beat, whatever you really need to do to get those hit points correct. To do this, I really did some standard techniques, some reverse cymbal risers, reverse piano chords, and it really gives you that effect of the sweeping panning motion of the camera. And then it goes back into the next cue that we started with. And that's really it. I spent some time making sure the sync points are perfect. After that, there might be some back and forth with you and director to make sure that everything lines up perfectly with what they're hearing and seeing, but that's really it. I really hope this video is giving you some insight and knowledge into writing corporate music. There is so much more we could talk about on this topic, and we just may in a later video. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, hit the like button, comment down below, and consider subscribing for our weekly videos. I really hope to see you around for the next one.